Hey guys, Pretty here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for part number four of our John Deere dairy farm here at the Pacific Northwest. So, off camera, I decided that I'd go through and um, finish or windrow all these areas. So, when we come back today, it wouldn't have to windrow and bore you guys too much. It's taken quite some time to get it all ready to go, but what I want to do is get a full load of. Um, straw, take it over to the cows, want to get a full load of grass, full load of hay, take it over to them as well, and then um, possibly see what we have left to be able to put in storage and that sort of stuff. I'm not sure how much we're going to have left after all that, but we'll see how we go. So we go look at our cows. Um, hay, grass, I want to get those both full and total mixed ration, which means we're going to need to make some um, silage using some grass as well. So, so if we do one full trailer load of each, then see how that goes. Be able to um, come back and collect the rest as well. Whether I do that as a time lapse or do that off camera, it's, it's um, something I haven't decided as yet. Um, some people have said that I should do some time lapse, some, you know, see everything, skip some things, so, I mean, as we all know, I'm not going to be able to please everybody, um, so some of you might like to see time lapses, some might not, but, um, I don't know, as I said, can't please everybody, but I'll see what I can do, hopefully um, most of you guys will be happy anyway. Just about got a full trailer load already in this little trailer. It only takes 22,000, 23,000 litres or something like that, so it's not very big at all. There we go, 23,000 litres. So we'll take this and drop this off over to our cows. And, um, we'll work out how much they're going to take in full. I don't know if 23,000 litres will be enough, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So I'll come back through after this, we'll grab some of this hay, a full load of hay, then we'll grab a full load of grass, and so we'll see, see what they're going to want. Now, I haven't actually used these cow barns before, so I need to work out where all this stuff actually goes. That's the animal loading area just there. And we'll back through into the shed here, I think feeding normal and straw, yep, so we need to attention, crazy cows ahead since FS 2011 it's not possible to create two cow areas into one bar but you've got to send cows in. ok so the cows sort of just go wherever they want I'm assuming that's what that means so we'll back back load our straw here See how much that's going to give us. That actually should fill us up. We should have a little bit left over. There you go. I don't think it'll be the same with the food and stuff though. So let's do a run this way. And then we can drop off straw into here to our barn. Go. Let's put a little bit in storage. Come grab some um, grab some hay now, and then after that we'll grab some grass. So we'll do a run along and see how we go. Everything's getting picked up. Um, of course, because well, we don't have double yield on, we're not going to get anywhere near as much out of all this as we usually would with double yield. And I'm happy with that because sometimes I felt like we're just getting way too much um, for the amount of grass that we actually cut and that sort of stuff. So I'm not too concerned that we're not getting as much as we could with the double yield mod, but it's still going to be plenty for what we're um, sort of using it for at this point in time anyway. So, so I'm not overly concerned. Let's do a run down, pick up another row. A lot of people said I need to do some more in-cap stuff, so 
do a little bit while we're doing stuff like this where it's easy not to miss anything. Um, as far as these bushes go, I know I've had a couple of people say, especially Weber's Gaming, say that we need to paint those out, which I will do. Now that we've collected the hay and the grass and all that sort of stuff, I will paint over those textures to get rid of those bushes. Alright, um, swing around to get this last row. Not the last row, but the next row. This, there you go. Now, quickly, might have enough time to jump into here and go to our painting texture. Go get rid of these guys. A few tractors going to take off like crazy now. There we go. There's a few more bits. Oh, slow down. There's a few more bits that we need to um, get done. We've still got to collect some more stuff down there first. We have the front loader attachment on this thing. I don't know if we have the log fork attachment though, because I certainly want to cut down those trees. Um, and stuff as well. Obviously we haven't brought the log fork attachment yet, but I think we should be able to. I'll have a quick look. Um, front loaders. Log fork, there we go, we can. So let's buy that. I'm not, probably not going to cut them down this episode, but I'm pretty sure I did buy... No. Oh, I do. It says I don't. So I was pretty sure did buy a um, chainsaw just in case. So have a look how much is that. So that's nowhere near enough. But I so said I want to give them one of each and then we'll continue to collect more stuff after that. It's probably more important that we get some um, get the grass and the silage sort of started more than the hay I guess. I mean the hay is what's going to give them the good feed. This productivity and reproduction rate should go up um, eventually. I certainly think we do need to obviously increase our loading wagon size, which is going to cost us 150,000. So I don't know. I do think there were some crone loading wagons that gave us up to 100,000 litres, so that's probably something I need to look at as well for a mod. Um, I know I've got very minimal mods in this game, or um, well, this save file I suppose, and I sort of, want to, sort of want to keep it as minimal as we can with mods, but I think if we, if we're going to do a lot of this stuff, you know, we're going to need a lot more capacity, because as you can see we're already up to 23,000 litres, and that was only one and a bit runs, so... Yeah, we certainly need to increase our capacity a little bit. So I think just one load of grass into here will be sufficient at this point in time. And the rest we can use as silage. So drop that off into there and we'll see this go up. I don't know if it'll be the similar amount, probably a little bit less. But I guess we'll find out in a second. I don't know, maybe pretty close. Goes orange. Yep, so both exactly the same amount. So probably another two loads of each we're going to need to get them full. But so I'm not going to worry about filling the grass one up. The hay one, I think we will be able to fill that up. But I'm not that concerned about the other ones grass because it's not the feed they go to first. So even though we have grass in here, they'll always eat the hay and the silage first because it gives them the high production. Then once you get the total mixed ration, um, they'll eat the total mixed ration before they even touch the hay or the grass. So whatever's on top is what they usually eat first. Now I don't know why grass is going up a lot quicker than now hay was, but I don't know, it's a little bit weird, but so that's going to be nearly 70% at the end of that run, 
So you can see how full this thing's going to get pretty quick. Certainly need to bump it up to that um, 100,000 litres if we can. That'll sort of save us a whole heap of time. So 90% this production rate hasn't gone up yet. Let me put it at times 5 just to maybe get through to maybe half arsed I suppose and that should change should, don't quote me on it but it should change so what I'm going to do now is back down into our bunker here and um, tip off pick a corner, any corner, it doesn't matter I'm just going to run down along side something like that try and tip off here until it sort of stops and then I'll roll forward a little bit it's like that the bottom right hand corner tells us how much grass is coming out once it stops that's what I always sort of just roll forward that little bit so I don't know if the grass actually goes higher than that but so we'll have to wait and see, but see, that's 24,000 litres, so that's going to take a fair bit to fill that up. Productivity is still at 0% at the moment. We'll see what it's like when we set this run up. Look, there we go, 80%. So it'll start to produce manure, slurry, milk, all that sort of stuff. So it might bump it up to Tom's 15. I think, as far as that field goes, we don't really need any more. How many else planned in there yet? Um, obviously, if we did have more stuff planned in there, would make money quicker, but sort of trying to focus on the dairy farm side of things early on. We've got the straw off there, that's what we mainly needed it for, and then um, we can plant down some oats or something like that. Still continue to get straw out of it, but then also improve um, our income. So our manure, slurry, milk, and none of our production rates going up yet got any milk yet either. Probably not going to be far off getting all that done. Probably once we hit that um, 3 o'clock mark, I'd say it might update that a little bit. Just trying to pick up a little bit of grass here just to make it 100%. Should be able to get it done any second. There we go. Let's have a look every 80 hours now so every you know four days we're going to get a new cow which is a very very long wait before we start reproducing so certainly going to have to um, look at that and look at filling filling it up with some more cows when we get some more money so we've got 58,000 at the moment but I'd like another tractor as well so I think another tractor is probably going to be our priority before anything else. Right, tip, come on, there we go. It's not coming out the back, is it? Can't see, no, it's not good. Alright, so filling up nicely. It's going to take quite some time to get it full, but fill up nicely. So head back up, grab some more grass again. So this grass is probably going to be our priority at the moment because we want to get this compacted down, get it covered, and um, hopefully start making some silage. So swing this way, keep doing this run as always. Um, what I might do guys is I might um, go into a bit of a time lapse here and um, 
end the episode with a time lapse. So if you guys have enjoyed this one so far, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know if you would like to see some more time lapses or not, and if it's something that you're going to enjoy or you want to see everything. Um, the more time lapses that you do, the further we're going to get quicker. But um, it's up to you guys, but I'd like you guys to still give me a bit of feedback and let me know. Um, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty thanks for watching. See you again soon.